political coverage tonight at 9. The 2020 election, it's hard to believe. It's just over a year away, and many people are talking about who they're voting for. Mm -hmm. But there are others who are prepping for the big day to make it run as smoothly as possible, and those are the county clerks. Our Madison Hebrew is live in the newsroom now with what could be changing in a couple of area counties. Madison. Yeah, Jen, I sat down with the county clerks from Greene County and Christian County, and they both kind of let me know that there are going to be some changes coming next year, but there's also going to be some things that stay the same. Literally this time of year, we begin to do our countywide canvas preparation. And the purpose of that is that we want to make sure all the registered voters and the addresses we have on file, that those voters still live where we have them registered at. Even though the 2020 November election is over a year away, prep for election day is in full swing. You always want to figure out what can we do better? What can we do to make sure We've done everything we can. Green County is expanding its election judge's handbook. And so one of the things we're looking at, for example, is our election judge handbook, making that much more user friendly for the election judges so that if questions come up on the day of the election, they can more easily flip to those answers. Christian County is also looking to make some changes for election day. We've been talking with all the different school districts and the places where we have polling places and looking at the parking and, and accessibility and making sure that there's ample parking spaces and just preparing for next year. We're looking at moving some sites just because of parking and accessibility. But one thing that will stay the same in both counties, paper ballots. I like a paper ballot. I'm from Missouri. I'm from the show me state. So I want to see that paper ballot. And I think every voter in Missouri feels that way. They want to see what they have and what they voted for. Well, I think it's important in terms of, you know, if, if you're tallying every single ballot, you know, on some type of a flash drive, for example, if something was tampered with, the ability to go back and be able to verify that vote total, you're never going to be able to convince the voter, much less myself, frankly, as county clerk, that that is the vote total that the voters cast on the day of the election. Now, if you live in Green or Christian County uh, and your polling place changes, your county will let you know by mail. John.